So, hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be making another video on the EV3 Mindstorms robot. So, today, I'm going to show you how to line square on a line. This will basically help your robot to come straight, no matter what happens. So, it's not a gyro sensor. It goes to the line and then aligns to it so that it's always perpendicular. So, first, let's open a new project. This is going to take a while. So, let's name it line squaring. So, now we can just save our work. And let's just save it YouTube. YouTube line squaring. Save. Yeah, let's replace it. Okay. So, first, we're going to drag out a move tank block. So, we're going to have it go on for unlimited. Pretty slow. Very slow, actually. So, now we're, we said, go forward, unlimited, as long as it can, very slowly. So, that's pretty boring. So, now let's add in a weight block. So, this says, go forward, unlimited. Still, it doesn't make a difference. But now... If we go to color sensor, compare reflected compare reflected light intensity. Now we say go forward until you see a value of 50 in port 3. But I don't have any values in port 3. So I'm going to switch it to port 2. This is the motor on the right side of my robot. So th this motor is in front of the C motor in on my robot. So 2. And for me... The black line is 6. So, this says we go forward unlimited until port 2 sees a black line. And that's pretty good so far. Now, we want to drag out a move block. So, we change it to whichever port that motor's in. So, for me, it's C. So, now we say go forward unlimited. Once you see the black line, go forward with the C motor. But we don't want that. We want it to reverse 0 0.3 rotations. This value you can change up a lot just so that it works for your robot. Then we drag out another one to the C. And then we say go forward unlimited until. Yep, you guessed it. W until you see the black line with the same in. So we go to color sensor, compare. Reflected light intensity. Port 2. Then it needs to be 6. So, just to make this all better, right now it says, if the value is less than 6, stop. But we want it to be less than or equal to. Because if it's equal to 6, that's good. If it's not, it's okay. So then we have it on 5 less than or equal to this is pr not pretty important then we want to have the c motor re the b motor reverse so we make it port b then we have it reverse minus 0 0.3 but first we need to drag out a move tank block here shut it off and then we need to take a move block, put it here, saying turn the motor off. Now, it truly says to stop. So right now it says stop the move tank, and here it says stop moving the steering. So now we just connect this wire. So you just go here until you see the string, and just pull it till it's blue, done. So now we say go forward unlimited, until port 2 sees the black line. Once you do that, turn off all the motors, then have that same one reverse 0 0.3 rotations, then go forward until it sees a black line. Turn off all the motors. Then have the other, other motor reverse 0 0.3 rotations until this one sees the black line. So we go to color sensor, compare, reflected light intensity. So we want this for port 1. Because on my robot, port 1 is right in front of port B. So we make it 
till the black line, then we have greater, less than or equal to. So now it's go forward until we see a black line, then reverse on the C wheel, then go forward on the C wheel until we see a black line on that motor on that motor's color sensor, then reverse on the B wheel, and then stop until we see the black line. Does that seem correct? Probably not. So now for this, we drag out the B motor, and then we say, go forward unlimited. So now, this is almost our program. Well, we have just one more step. Now, we just need to turn everything off so that our robot doesn't keep on going, and we're done. But it'll be better, like 75 can still work, but it needs to be very precise. So let's just show everything slower. Slower, slower, and slower. So this is our program. It's a very basic program, but it works quite well. So I've seen other programs, but those are really complicated and it's not really too good for like the basic person. This is good and it's also really effective. So I'll see you on the robot. So hey guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to be showing you how the EV3 line swing program really works. So basically, your robot can start from all the way over here or from anywhere on the mat as long as it's near to the black line so that it's not at this type of angle. But like this type of angle is good, this type of angle is good. Any type of angle except for like crazy outrageous angles. So you need to go into your line scoring program, then just run it. It'll go forward unlimited till that one sees a black line. Then it'll go forward until it sees the black line. It'll reverse until it, and then it'll go forward until it sees the black line. That's basically the line scoring program. It's actually quite simple, but it also works quite well for me. And I hope you try it out. Tell me how it works in the description. Goodbye.